Jet TV, just in time. Sanbanan Babugele Makai. A very warm welcome to Jit TV News, where we bring you nothing but politics, business, sports, and entertainment all in one experience. Ekamalamo Antile Kukuletu in Dombewa Tindi Omashaba. Let's quickly take a look now at two headlines for today. Chamisa advises supporters to attend a ZANU PF campaign. Libya's Hafta urges still unfair distribution of all revenues. Sean Williams gives Zimbabwe advantage in crucial World Cup qualifier. Now, Position Citizens Coalition for Change, a leader Nelson Chamisa, has advised his supporters to attend the ZANU PF campaign rallies for their safety, but voted out in the ballot box on 23 August. This comes amid reports of rising political tension, mostly in the rural areas, where members of a shadowy ZANU PF affiliate forever associates Zimbabwe are said to be conducting door to door campaigns, warning villagers against voting for opposition candidates. Chamisa also accused the a ruling party of paying some of paying rather some of its members to contest the upcoming polls at CCC candidates to confuse the electorate and divide the opposition vote. Now, youth desks have been put in place in all um, ministries at both national and provincial levels to ensure youth participate fully in development and empowerment programs in line with the Second Republic's mantra of leaving no place and no one behind. Since the desks were established, youth empowerment opportunities have been unveiled in agriculture, tourism, mining, manufacturing and social services sectors youth have been involved in and benefited from national projects spearheaded by governments such as national housing, public works and land and livestock reform. Total of 1,186,245 youth have been accessed to opportunities and services in government line ministries by June 14 this year. Jet TV, just in time. Building the brand. This is where you have to be to get where you want to be. Exploring companies and businesses that are thriving and leading is what we are all about. I am Mazim Popu, your host, that will be bringing to you big cooperatives and relevant people that will be sharing with you their journeys of successes, failures, and lessons learned in their businesses. From humble beginnings to global success, catch me, Mazim Popu, on Building the Brand. Jet TV, just in time. Let's take a look now at the African news for today. Now, Khalifa Halta, the de facto ruler of the country's east, called for an equitable distribution of all revenues on Monday. He also said an end August deadline for this to be done, hinting at repercussions in the absence of a deal. Halta has threatened on numerous occasions an armed blockade on oil exports. Halta urged to create a commission responsible for putting in place financial arrangements he was making and address before his troops in Rat uh, Rajma rather in his headquarters all revenues the country's main source of income is often at the heart of disputes between the camps and now on to the international news for today now Russia will continue to oppose Western sanctions President Vladimir Putin has said following Moscow's invasion of Ukraine his address to a virtual um, Shanghai Cooperation Organization summit was his first to an international meeting since last month's immunity in Russia President Putin a backed trades accord between SCO nations and local currencies seen as an attempt to blunt sanctions. The 2023 SCO summit is taking place virtually under Indian's leadership. The presidency had added that more than 80% of trade between Chinese and Russian people was in rubles and yen and urged the other um, SCO, SCO members rather to follow the same process. Now, the Gold Mafia documentary became televised on the Al Jazeera channel. Nonsensical documentary. A racist propaganda tool. They have a right to sell their gold anywhere. In fact, I encourage Monagagua to bust the sanctions. The government of Zimbabwe is incurring no risk. 
that it receives the tax. Please wake up to the reality and the real scam that's taking place here. Nothing but the best interesting stories and the hottest ones on the alternative view. <laughs> Let's quickly get down now to the business side of news for today. Now, Zimbabwe is set to benefit from a 5 million um, euros project funded by the European Union along other 10 countries in the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa. The program, strengthening food control and phytosanitary um, capacities and governance, is said to provide technical support while working with uh, competent authorities and other leading institutions in the 11 countries to build cap uh, capabilities, rather strengthen governance and improve strategic planning around food safety and plant health. The project will be implemented in close collaboration with the African Commission Division for Rural Economy and Agriculture. Now, the potential launch of a new currency by BRICS could stabilize the U.S. dollar's dominance and threaten several U.S. financial sectors. In the looming shadows of a global economic shift, the United States faces the specter of BRICS nation's prospective currency launch. The seismic change threatens to disrupt America's positions of influence, affecting several crucial financial sectors and endangering the supremacy of the U.S. dollar. The impact of this geopolitical shift promises to be profound and far-reaching is shaking up the foundations of the global economic order. The U.S. might struggle to maintain its equilibrium as the um, cascading impact of these changes triple across its financial landscape. Welcome to Azambezi River Lodge, Victoria Falls. Nestled on the banks of the mighty Zambezi River, Right on the edge of the national park, Azambezi occupies the most unique and finest spot with the tranquility and seclusion every traveler seeks. Each of its well-appointed rooms is either garden or river facing, allowing you to soak in the serenity of the environment. The award-winning restaurant Amlonga offers delectable cuisine, which includes our famous high teas. To explore Victoria Falls from this fine location, book any of our packages now. Azambezi River Lodge. Relax. Refresh. Replenish. And now on to your TV with the focus for today. And lastly, on your sports news for today. Now, veteran all-rounder Sean Williams stood with the ball, taking three wickets for 41, as Zimbabwe restricted Scotland to 234 for eight at the half stage of of a tie which will decide Zimbabwe's World Cup phase. The hosts now need to score 235 runs on a batting friendly wicket to book a place at the 2023 ICC Men's Cricket World Cup set for India later this year. Zimbabwe, who wins the toss and elected to bowl first, took time to make the decision court as Tendai Chadara grabbed the first wicket in the 17th over clean bowling Christopher uh, McBride with 56 on the board. Tendai finished with figures of 2 for 46 um, from 7 overs while Richard took one wicket. And that is it from me to you. A huge thank you for joining me today. As always, kindly please comment and follow us to all our social media platforms at Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Or rather, you can go to our website at www.jit-tv.tv. Signing out, it is Andile Kukuletz who in Tombia got in the Umashlava. Have yourselves a great day.
Jet TV, just in time. There are not so many places where mice excellence has been achieved. Meeting in Zimbabwe is the best business decision you will ever make. Our adherence to COVID-19 safety protocols is second to none, coupled with the warm and hospitable nature of the people of Zimbabwe. Our conference facilities sit on marvelous backdrops which will offer a splendid experience that will leave a lasting impression on you and your delegates. The magic of Zimbabwe can be felt in every breath, bite and beat. Stadiums and exhibition centers are known for their international appeal and world-class standards. The high-end technology will surely enhance your experience of the exhibition, festival or concert. Motivate your team by treating them to a trip of a lifetime through our crafted itineraries. Should they have love for adrenaline-packed activities or calm and relaxed excursions, the enchantment will last a lifetime of memories. Mingle and engage with locals and enjoy our diverse culture and warm hospitality. Our mice drivers are ready to welcome you to Zimbabwe and exceed your expectations. The revolution shall be televised. Jet TV, just in time.